Hello, welcome to this introduction video. And we'll quickly go over to each chapter and say what we will do there and what you could learn from it. So the cable tool overall built here is very similar to the one that we have used in Project Titan. So the first video will be creating the main cable. So from one single curve, we will generate a couple other curves around that. And we will also use that in the simulation for later purposes. So the simulation at this stage will look pretty basic but in future videos, we will improve on this to actually make it look way more nicer. So this is the very base system, and we will just create a couple main cables to then use later on. In the next part, we will take those main cables and actually wrap around a smaller cable. This mini is very useful and impressive in the simulation. When we use a simulation on top of this, we will get some quite interesting results in cables. So you can see that cables are hanging on each other and creating these interesting silhouettes. In part 4, we are going to create a digital asset. So we're going to wrap up everything we made into one single node. You can use this node in your Houdini project, but we can also use this for game engines. That is what the next part will be. So the next part will be opening this into Unreal. You could also open this in Unity as well. And we're going to play around with this tool a bit inside of a game engine. So once we bring this into Unreal, we might notice a few things we want to change. In this case, I'm actually going to use Session Sync which allows me to directly see what data comes from in real and what is and what is affecting here in real time. So I can now polish up my tool a bit so it actually works really well in Game Engine as well. And then the last part, this could be also seen as a standalone video, is about the trim texturing sheets. So these are a couple of nodes to use on trim sheets. So in this case, I'm going to use it on the cable tool. So we will create UVs for our cables. And once we have those UVs, we will then use that in the automatic trim tool to decide where they should be fitting on the trim sheet. So like I mentioned, this is not necessarily focused for the cables, but you can plug in your own models. You can make your own custom model and you can use that as well in that trim texturing notes. And that's a bit about what each part will be about. I hope you're excited to follow these videos and learn more about Houdini. Thank you for watching.